Vivo Energy Namibia staff members and invited guests through one of its biggest annual events, celebrated Safety Day to reflect on safety performance and provide suggestions to improving health, safety, security and environmental performance at the workplace. At the event, Namibian Road Safety Ambassador Julian Rose, who has been involved in four car accidents because of reckless and drunk driving, shares his story. And, uh, yeah, I felt like I had nothing to lose, so I took the fast life. Drinking, partying, drag racing, all helped me to forget my pain. Alcohol and speed were the cause of three of my accidents, but I still thought I was untouchable. Just before the 20, my 21st birthday, I had my last accident. My memory fails me, but I was told that it was, a, but I was playing a drinking game at a local pub. My friend Andreo tried to tr protect me by hiding my car keys, but I demanded to get them back. On the way to drop my girlfriend off, we got into a fight. We didn't make it home, and I didn't wake up until 66 days later. I remember waking up in hospital asking for something sweet to eat. Horst Heimstad say that most of the Namibians are ignorant when it comes to drinking and driving and always claim that nothing will happen. He urged the nation to stop drinking and driving before they risk their lives and the lives of others in the process. I'm a prisoner of my body. All because of one day's fun which I can't even remember. We make stupid decisions in our lives. We believe it's not going to happen to us. Julian had three crashes, all alcohol speed related. He didn't listen. I'm better than everybody else. I can do it. You can do it a hundred times. You can do it, as in Julian's case, four times. You don't know when it's going to happen. Guys, the person which gets into a car with somebody drunk is as guilty as the person which is driving drunk. It's your life. It's not the driver's life. It's your life. Do yourself a favor. Do the, a favor to another father or mother or your sister or your brother. If you see that person is getting drunk into the car, take the key, throw it away. Managing Director of Vivo Energy Namibia highlighted why they take safety seriously at their workplace and allows them to work efficiently on a daily basis. We take a minute to remember what safety means for our business. Yeah. And like I've said in different, different forums, for us, safety is a license to do business. It's not a core value because core values change. It's not a priority. Priorities change. But safety for us as Vivo Energy is the license to do business. And like we've said, we'll walk away from a business, we'll walk away from a business operation if it is not safe. It is the only day that the entire group operations will stop to actually reflect on safety and what it means for our business. Progressed very well on safety and in terms of our safety performance. But all this progress is being registered on an institutional basis. So. Vivo Energy as an operation, we have, you know, no fatalities. Initially we have no fatalities, then we have no recordable incidents. That is Vivo Energy as an operation. Although Vivo Energy Namibia has achieved a notable reduction in fatalities and injuries over the past years, Walungeba urged Vivo Energy employees to always remember that safety comes first and that they should uphold the rules that have been working over the years when it comes to safety.